Hello to all you bright and beautiful faces yearning to be free. My name is Jeff Einstein coming to you directly from Delray Beach, Florida. And yes, I'm easily amused. Caught myself thinking the other day that my knees just aren't what they used to be. But then it occurred to me that my knees never really were what they used to be. So to cheer myself up, I went on a three mile walkathon for the Arthritis Foundation. Cheered me up great, but now I have arthritis. So in a major development, crowdsourcing giant GoFundMe announced last week that it has reversed earlier plans to steal then divert funds donated to support the Canadian Freedom Convoy truckers in their battle against government-imposed COVID mandates. In a later clarification, a company spokesperson explained further, we will no longer rob our contributors in broad daylight, she said. From now on, we will borrow a page from the Homeland Security Migrant Relocation Playbook and steal money only while everyone else is asleep. True to their word, the next big announcement from GoFundMe came the very next morning at 2 a.m. It reads, consistent with our recent decision to embrace grand larceny in the dead of night, we are excited to announce a new and more appropriate corporate name. The crowdfunding platform formerly known as GoFundMe is now Go Beep. Needless to say, we are very excited. Now, for obvious reasons, Go Beep Me is expected to earn a place right beside Let's Go Brandon in the pantheon of accidental populist slogans. That's it for my end, folks. If you see a subscribe button somewhere, hit it. And please be sure to share this video with two or three hundred of your closest friends. Until next time, remember skepticism is our first civil obligation in a free society. Thanks for watching and God's love to you. And you.